Okay people, it's time to put in the chemicals. So we're going to put in some chlorine tabs. And I'm also going to put in some shock. Now I do things not the way you're supposed to do them because I'm an engineer. I don't need that shit. Safety third. Anyways, what I'm going to do is something you don't need to do if you're just putting chlorine tabs in. And that's to put the thing back to recirculate. And I'm doing that for the shock because I'm going to do that in a fashion that you're not supposed to do it. Here is where you put the chlorine tabs. And I'm going to go and administer the chlorine tabs. Now anything that splashes on you, don't worry about the bubbly. It'll go away. It's just all the water and the air and everything getting in the lines. Anything you're wearing, if it's not white, is going to turn white. Because this is bleach much stronger than you would use in your laundry. So make sure you don't wear anything that you care about. Which is why I wear this Fakaku little blue shirt. Because blue, like a lot of the coal company peoples, wear blue and stuff like that. Just to make it all fancy for the YouTube. And anyway, I'm putting in six tabs. I keep mine set, I don't know if you can see it at the angle, uh, set at the maximum, no it's actually on this side, but I keep it set at the max on six, and I don't know if that's the right way, probably not, they say to adjust it, but it's been working for years. Now, if you can see this, anything I touch is going to turn white. Pretty nasty stuff. Try not to breathe it. Try not to deal with it. Make sure you wear gloves and safety protection stuff and all that great stuff. So yeah, make sure you do all that. I'm going to squeeze out the last bit of lube from my tube. get a whole bunch there and I'm going to put that very liberally on the threads Oopsie. going around here so now that we have that done we're going to go ahead and put the top back on In just half a second here Remember, you can't wash this off because it's not water soluble, otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. So you have to uh, wipe it off and hope that you get rid of the rest or else you end up eating it along with your chicken legs at dinner. So I don't know. Okay, time to put that cover back on. like that and we'll put it back on and it fires right back up now we're gonna put in some shock okay and finally we're gonna put in some shock now I buy these in little packets and I dump them all into this big bucket I have a video on doing that uh, sometime last year this time but I just get a whole scoop of scoopa and we're gonna pour that in very slowly like this just wiggle it back and forth and let it fall in there and go very slowly sometimes i'll do half in here and half in the other skimmer it doesn't really matter we're just trying not to overload see how much i already took out of there not a lot so we're just trying not to overload everything with chlorine because this is very very powerful potent stuff and it can bleach all kinds of stuff and that and you don't want to do that so that's why I put it on recirculation instead of filter, because if we had it on filter and put that on, this could get clogged up in the filter and burn a hole through it. Just like if you add too much bleach to your laundry, this is basically the same thing. So we sprinkle, sprinkle very slowly. And I am going to finish doing that going to take some time as you see we still have quite a bit in there 
So I'll just finish that up quick and we'll come back. Okay, so the pool's now officially open for 2014. Of course, your next question is, what next? The water's green, Jay, what the hell? Well, you're absolutely right. And that is going to be answered in the matter of time. Typically takes me about two weeks turnaround time to get this crystal clear and everything done. There's a lot of vacuuming manually. There's a lot of running the Polaris robot to get other sediment and stuff. He's also great because he tends to stir the water up a lot. So that gets all the green stuff at the bottom up and then the filter can take care of that and everything else goes like that. So really it's just a matter of time at this point. You do want to of course set your control valve back to uh, filtration. You want to leave it run, circulate, just on recirculate for about 10 minutes like this. And I'm still just filling the pool a little bit because you can see that line go in there. It's just a little below where it needs to be. So we'll just continue filling. Uh, it'll be done later today. And that's it, we just wait. And you'll see in time that things are gonna start clearing up a bit and clearing up. You wanna make sure you check your filter every day several times a day if you can and if it's clogged up you want to backwash it and once you backwash it add fresh DE to it if you have a diatomaceous earth filter if you have a sand filter you can backwash that I don't think you have anything to add to that and if you have a cartridge filter you shouldn't have a cartridge filter that's about all I can tell you D is the way to go anyway the pools open hope this video helped you out if it did Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. Thank you once again, everybody, and take care. We'll see you next time.